Good morning to Sora and welcome to TNN. Today we'll be taking a look at lacrosse, Cinco de Mayo, and Scatter Laughter, so stay tuned. I'm Gabe Pearson, reporting for TNN. I'm here at Tesoro High with Allison Singer. This week, more students are coming back to school. So Allison, uh, how are you enjoying this week so far? I was really excited coming to school today, um, seeing all the people um, in the parking lot because I think for the last four weeks, it's really special that we're all able to come back because um, it feels more like normal school again. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this week and for the weeks to come, and I'm excited for graduation. Well, that's great. From Tesoro High, I'm Diego Pearson, reporting for TNN. Uh, what's that sweatshirt you're wearing? I personally what's love the four days back. I like to see everybody. It's amazing. I agree. I think it's so much better. I'm Liv. I'm Delaney. I'm Charlotte. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. This Friday, Orchestra has a virtual concert at 7 p.m. More info on the Tesoro Orchestra Instagram at THS underscore or orchestra. Are you interested in joining choir? Tryouts are May 10th through May 14th. After school, either in person or on Zoom, more information is on the Canvas homepage. Are you going to the carnival? Are you going to the carnival? Prices go up this Sunday. Hurry and buy your tickets. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Jillian is here to talk about the history of today. Roll the video. I'm Jillian reporting for TNN. Today is Cinco de Mayo, but do you actually know the history behind it? Cinco de Mayo, or the 5th of May, celebrates the Mexican army's win against the French. They fought the French at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. Although the holiday in Mexico is relatively minor, in the States it has progressed into a commemoration of Mexican heritage. A common misconception, also, is that Cinco de Mayo is Mexican Independence Day, but that's actually on September 16th. Have fun celebrating Cinco de Mayo. I'm Jillian reporting for TNN. Um, personally, I love Cinco de Mayo. I think it should have been on Tuesday, though, so it was also Taco Tuesday. I mean, it would have been a lot more fun that way. Looking for something to do with your friends? Nate is here to tell us what movies are out now in theaters. Let's roll the video. I'm Nate Warren from the Zoom call reporting for TNN. Recently, movie theaters have opened up, and there's a lot of movies people have missed over quarantine. Some of those movies you could go see is Mortal Kombat, an action movie about basically a video game. If you're not into that, you can go see the animated movie Demon Slayer. Everybody loves their familyhood cartoon, Tom and Jerry, and is coming to the big screen, so go see that in theaters as well. If you like Disney movies, Riot and the Last Dragon is now playing at the movies. In a few days, on May 13th, a new horror movie is coming out with Chris Rock called Spiral. If you don't want to go to the theaters, you can also sit at home on your couch and go on Amazon Video and watch the new movie that came out with Michael B. Jordan called Without Remorse. You can also go on HBO Max to see the matchup of the century, Godzilla vs. Kong. If you want to go on Netflix, which I prefer to go on Netflix personally, you can go see the new thriller about space called Stowaway. So go check out all these new movies and... I recommend that you go to the theaters because I'm definitely going to go check out some of these new movies at the theaters. From my room, I'm Nate Warren, reporting for TNN. I mean, I just went to the movie theaters like the other day at the Spectrum, and it was so nice to like sit in a movie after so long. I haven't been yet. I've missed the movies so much, and I loved going to movies. Yeah, I just watched Mortal Kombat. It was so brutally gory, but <laughs> if you play the video game, you'll probably like it. So. No, I th I th I'm going to go watch Mortal Kombat. Don't, don't. I'll don't. join you, Liv. Come on. <laughs> eh. That's all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Delaney with current events. Thanks, Liv. Ashley talked about the last Scatter Laughter donation drive of the year. Let's check it out. I'm Ashley Grinner, reporting for TNN. I'm here in my bedroom, here to tell you an easy way 
of how to help kids in the foster system. If you don't already know, the foster care system takes kids and provides them a temporary home who can't live with their old families and helps them find new families to take care of them in the safest environment. This drive, which is being ran by Scatter Laughter, a club at our school, ends May 6th, but it's not too late to still donate. Any school items, including backpacks, pencils, pens, and much more. If you have anything to donate, please bring it to room 205. From my bedroom, I'm Ashley Gruner reporting for TNN. You still have a couple more days to donate, so it's super good to donate, and it's super easy if you have a leftover backpack or some pencils, think about donating. Now Rachel and Brady are going to waste a minute of your time with some rock and roll insider. What's up Tesoro? I'm Rachel. And I'm Brady. And today we're going to be talking to you about rock and roll insider. So um, I know you got the Kiss shirt on, so uh, what's your favorite Kiss song? Uh, probably right now, it's got to be She. It's my favorite okay, song right now. On, yeah. Off I'm of Dress to Kill. What about you, Nirvana? Uh, Nirvana, yeah. I like uh, In Bloom because, I don't know, people will say it smells like Teen Spirit's like the best, but I don't know, I feel like it's kind of overrated and overplayed. Okay. But, yeah. Clearly, we're only into old music. Yeah, obviously. But Usually not the it's, normal thing, that's but, That's not the you typical know. high school thing, but <laughs> that, that's just us, right? <laughs> yeah, honestly. I don't so... Know, I just, Oh, I like sorry. the I like the instrumentals. That's what makes True. it so Especially good. True, especially drummer for me. boys. Yeah. Not gonna lie. <laughs> sorry about it. Yeah, I'm a guitar boy, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Delaney. What about you? What's your favorite genre? I like almost every genre of music besides country and rap, but my favorite's probably alternative rock or indie pop. I interviewed our junior homecoming princess, Ash the Gurner. Roll the video. I'm Delaney Sprassia, reporting for TNN. I'm here in my bedroom over Zoom with Ashley Gruner. This year, Ashley won Junior Homecoming Princess. Ashley, what was it like being on the homecoming court, even with COVID this year? Being on homecoming court was an amazing experience. It was so cool to be nominated and super fun to dress up, get announced, and everything else that came with it. The night ended up being very, very fun. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. I'm so glad you were nominated and that you won Homecoming Princess. From my bedroom, I'm Delaney Sprassio, reporting for TNN. I think it's such a good idea that ASB allowed us to do um, Homecoming Court this year, so that seems super fun for Ashley and all the other people that were in the court. Yeah, I'm also glad that they were able to do the Homecoming Court this year. I Ashley's dress was so pretty. Yes, it was. Nice, like, blue. <laughs> yeah, go Ashley. Go <laughs> Ashley, go. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Let's move to Charlotte to give us a rundown of sports this week. Thanks, Delaney. Nate gives us a boys lacrosse update for this week. Let's check it out. I'm Nate Warren reporting for TNN, and I'm here in a Zoom call with Cole Pollard. So Cole, Last Saturday, you played San Clemente and beat them 13-5. to 5. It was a super aggressive game, and a lot of people were knocked onto their butts. So how are you going to transfer that same energy into your game on Monday against one of our school riv rivals, SM? Uh, to transfer that energy, I mean, we need a whole team to bring it over. Like, especially you, you uh, decked the kid, which is kind of funny to watch, hyped up our team, and... Uh, we need to keep bringing those hits, bringing that energy, and if we bring that into uh, tomorrow's game versus SM, I bet you we will bring it home. Yeah, I can't wait to play them, and I really hope we can beat them because we haven't done that in a while, especially last year when we, when we barely lost. So hopefully we can transfer that energy, and it's a home game at 5.30 this Monday, so hopefully some other people can get out there and go check it out. From my room, I'm Nate One reporting for TNN. Yeah, y'all are tanks on the field. I love watching those games, and I'll definitely be there to watch more. So, Gaston interviewed Max about their upcoming duel. Roll the video. This is Max Ashbrook. And that's Gaston Sanchez. We're here at Tesoro reporting for TNN. For TNN. So, Max, we have an upcoming duel this Saturday. What are you yeah. looking forward to? I'm looking forward to uh, a highlight reel of a match. So the following clip is what Max hit on Dana. Say my story. <laughs> no! 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 Max, is that one of your favorite moves? I'm gonna hit it again on Kappa. I can't stop it. 
It's an unstoppable move. Unstoppable. If you want to come try and stop it, come to practice. Come try to stop it. 5.30 here at Tesoro. Same and we'll here. see if you can. And you can't stop it. Any last words for before this upcoming duel this Saturday? Uh, That's amazing. <laughs> I'm Gaston Sanchez. And I'm Max Ashbrook. Here at Tesoro. At Tesoro for TNN. TNN. Yeah, I've never gone to watch, but I mean, it looks so aggressive. I feel like it'd be so much fun to watch. I I, yeah, I've been to a wrestling, like, I went to the league, like, finals last year, and it was like eight hours, and gosh, they're so long, like, to sit there and watch a 30-second duel. <laughs> yeah. Still seems fun, though. I mean, I personally would never do wrestling. I think I would probably No, I think it would be but... fun. Get big, <laughs> get big. All right, that's all I have for sports. Now I'm to live to finish off the show. Thanks, Charlotte. That's all we have for you today, Tesoro. Thanks for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Happy Cinco de Mayo and have a wild Wednesday.